I don't want to put the cart before the horse. We don't have a strategy yet. I think uh, what I've seen in, in some of the uh, uh, news reports uh, suggests that uh, folks are getting a little further ahead uh, of where we're at uh, than we currently are. Back now to our top story. That was President Obama just hours ago in the White House briefing room, explaining that his administration has no strategy to go after ISIS and its safe haven in Syria. Not to worry, he is spending all day tomorrow in the Situation Room. Oh, wait. Chris Steyerwalt is our Fox News digital politics editor. No. No, he isn't. No, he's not doing that. That's he's going to be heading to Westchester for a $32,000 ahead fundraiser, and then he's got another fundraiser, and then he's going to jet off to Rhode Island for another fundraiser. And don't worry, because there's just a few Americans waiting to have their heads chopped off in the custody of this terror group. I'm sorry to be so flippant about it, but it's, it's disturbing to see that we have no strategy and we apparently have nobody minding the ship tomorrow. So the president's the president wherever he goes, and he'll be will be able to destroy the whole world and everything in it from a remote location. From while he is sucking up to the swells in Westchester County and uh, Lovelies in uh, Rhode Island, when he goes to the it couple's wedding of the year that's taking place in New York this weekend, he will still. Still, even from a rustic barn full of organically sourced foie gras or whatever. That's actually tr happening. I have been to that barn, and that is where he's going for this wedding of an MSNBC and host to one of his closest uh, employees, the, the guy who d helps with nutrition at the White House. The, and the chef. And the truffle oil will be delightful. And he will, again, be able to destroy the entire world and everything that lives on it. Just with the button. So he with the button. So he is still the president wherever he goes. The problem is, is that he didn't say, uh, I'm going to ignore what's happening. What he said was, we're going to get a strategy. We're going to have a strategy. We're going to talk to Congress. We're going to deal with Vladimir Putin, uh, which he wouldn't say whether it was an invasion or not, but they're going to figure that out too. And they're going to do all this stuff. And then he goes and he has a meeting, brief, relatively speaking, meeting with everybody. And you know a meeting of that size is not going to produce anything of any value. John Kerry and Joe Biden and everybody's going to gas about what they Joe Biden want. phoned in. He phoned in. He called in, but it was a said. secure line from Delaware. It was a secure line. He called in. I bet he so volunteered to come, meeting. and they said, "Don't no, that's all right. The, the phone is no, fine." No, exactly. I, I was on mute. I was on mute. <laughs> the 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 problem is, he said he was going to make a decision. And he was carrying, it's sort of like after he said how heartbroken he was at the beheading of an American journalist, and then he went and played golf. Well, you can only be so heart, I, I love to play golf, and I can not play golf if I am really, really heartbroken. Mm -hmm. So he says a thing, and then his actions do not support the behavior. It's not that he goes to fundraisers. Every president goes to fundraisers, and I hope he enjoys the truffle oil at the barn. He will. The it's problem delicious. For, uh, it's deli I, I'm sure it's delicious, and it's very rustic and earthy. But the the problem you can is, pet the chickens there. they're lovely. And, but <laughs> while he pets the chickens, he, I suppose, is going to say he's thinking about the strategy, but it doesn't back up his words. And that's the problem for this president. He looks tired, he looks disengaged, and then when he leaves to go do things that look selfish, mm -hmm. it is very hard for him to make the case to the American people that he's the man with the plan. Now, the criticism of him wearing a tan suit today, that, that seemed <laughs> over the line to me. Like, look, the, the producers actually put this together. Because people gave him a hard time for wearing the summer suit while he was talking about ISIS. But I say, he, you know, he looked rather dapper. And our producers apparently think he looks more serious than the dark one because they put, they put him together with the, with the dark suit, too. What, what say you, Chris Dyerwalt? A poplin summer suit is fine. I'm wearing one today. It's okay. Uh, I think for the president, though, I don't know about that tie oh. with that suit. Oh, interesting. But, okay. Uh, but, but he, again, petting chickens or wearing summer suits, he can still blow up the world. It's just, I, what's he thinking about? What's he doing? I just want to say, I don't know if you're in a position to cast that stone in your glass house yellow tie. Right. All right? It's Have a great snazzy. holiday. Bye, Chris. <laughs> Bye. Joining me now, Joe Trippi, Democratic presidential campaign veteran and a Fox News contributor who, who also looks very dapper tonight. Oh, thanks. And, <laughs> and everything's color-coordinated as it should be. Um, so I know that... They, they all have to fundraise. They have to. They have right. to keep their party. He's in danger of losing the Senate. He needs to keep money going into the coffers. But come on, Joe. How do you come out there and say he doesn't have a strategy and then within 24 hours go off, wee, Westchester, look at the farm. Well, I look, Megan, I, th I think he was honest to that press conference when he, sa or the, when he said, I think what he would say is he hasn't made up his decision based on what the Pentagon pr presents as, as options to him. They're the ones that are 
uh, sitting down uh, developing the strategy on how you go into Syria, and he'll choose one and go. And so it, it doesn't, as Chris pointed out, the presidency travels, it's all with him wherever he goes. The Pentagon and generals will be trying to figure out uh, so what the best So the president, let me just get the clear is. image in my head. So the president, when he's at this wedding this weekend, he's going to be in the conga line, they're going to be, ha and somebody's be like, we've got that memo, Mr. President. Yeah, at some point during that day, it may be tomorrow, it could be a week from now. Frankly, I don't think he's going to make up a real decision till the NATO summit uh, because he wants to confer with, with our allies there and try to bring more of them in. But I, So I think everybody's looking for you know a quick solution right now, let's go in. That's not going to be how this mm -hmm. is going to happen. Well, Syria that's the other thing. That's the other, in his defense, Joe, in his defense, even though ISIS has been, the threat of it's been rising, it, he has been warned about it for quite some time. The American public is not behind military action in the Middle East, at least not in any large numbers. No, that's exactly right. So I think part of this is is moving the moving the information flow so that people, the, you know, you've got to get the support of the American people behind you before you put uh, more military, take more military action, particularly in a place like Syria. Which could so be a generational conflict for us. And, and, he may, and he may decide, uh, fr frankly, I think he made the right decision in Iraq, bringing the Kurds up uh, uh, and, uh, and rearming them and getting uh, allies involved in rearming them. Getting new leadership in. And, and new leadership in. He's done a lot. That, that strategy's worked. Now he's got to work. And there's no way to solve the whole problem without militarily intervening somehow in Syria. Now, how do you do that? Multilateral unilaterally. I mean, there are a lot of different ways you could do it, and if he picks the wrong one, it's going to make a bigger problem than the one we have. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather have him take his time, let the generals tell, come up with the right options, diplomatic and military, and then make the move after he's got allies involved. Joe Trippi, that's how the cow Good. eats the cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. Good to be with you, Megan. All right. I Googled it, and there, the explanation was about 12 paragraphs long. There was no time. <laughs> we are also tracking a developing story tonight involving TV host Joan Rivers. She was rushed to a New York hospital after she reportedly stopped breathing, and we've got some breaking news on that right after this break.